Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. I was recently walking through Dublin and uh, close to Trinity College, there's a statue of somebody, uh, some famous person at one time, somebody who obviously made an impact on the life of the city and managed to do enough that his citizens erected a statue to him to remember him forever, even though I don't know who he is. And I looked at that statue, it was a black statue, and the guy's head appeared to be white because of pigeons pooping on his head. And I thought, imagine that, you spend your life working to do something that matters, that people will remember you, so they put up a statue for pigeons to poop on your head. Pigeons are dirty creatures. I've often referred to them as being like rats with wings, flying vermin. Um... I discovered something fairly recently that actually made me look at pigeons a little bit differently. I think they're still pests. But pigeons were actually originally wild birds that were then bred and domesticated and made to rely on people. People kept pigeons, homing pigeons. They would keep pigeon lofts on tops of buildings and they would send the pigeons out and the pigeons would race and come home and competitions. And some of them became worth a lot of money. And at one time it was a very popular pastime. Now very few people bother to keep pigeons today. Few people still do. Occasionally I've been on a motorway and a a, a truck has a big truck has gone past with lots of cages with loads of pigeons in taking them off somewhere to set them off so they can race home again. But not many people keep pigeons these days and the problem is of course that these pigeons that were that were then released and so-called into the wild have reached a stage of dependence upon human beings where any ability to survive in the wild, in the countryside, has been totally destroyed. They can't do anything except stay near people to feed off our scraps. And these pigeons that we have created to be like this are now living in our cities And they've become pests and we don't know what to do with them. Sometimes they're chased away. Sometimes people poison them and everything else. But we created them. It's not the pigeon's fault. We created them to be like that. And now we find them pests. You know, that caused me to think about some of the people that I have encountered in life that I've sometimes, to my shame, viewed as being just annoyances, as just being dangerous as being pests. And I've realized as I've got to know some of these people and tried to help them and worked alongside them that very often these people, like the pigeons, were used and cast aside. Somebody exploited them. Maybe they were brought up and they were used by drugs gangs. Maybe they were women were used by as objects of desire. But a lot of people, a lot of young people, have been used and cast aside. And they've been left in a place where they're unable to survive on their own resources and have to be pests to others because they don't know how to do anything else. It's tremendously sad. You know, I've met young people who have been involved in some some dreadful crimes. And very often you look at the circumstances that led them to be those kind of people. And I thought to myself, my goodness, what kind of chance did they have? But but then, of course, we do know people who grew up in similar circumstances who have found Jesus Christ and have turned out to live lives that are wonderful and productive and, and everything else, which tells me that the only answer is Jesus. I, there was, I should never look at anybody and view them as a hopeless case because there was a time in my life as a teenager when other people looked at me as a hopeless case. People looked at me who was broken and saw somebody who they thought was broken beyond repair. But I found life and I found meaning in Jesus. Next time you're tempted to view somebody as just being useless, annoying, dangerous even, stop to think that maybe they've been used and cast aside. They don't know anything else to do now. And the only answer is to bring them to Jesus. May God help us to do that and to do it well in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.